Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session. In today's session, we are going to see how we can use Streamlit and build a simple image caption annotator. So you can use this technique to uh, build any annotator for NLP datasets, etc. And we are going to see how we can build this today. So before we actually build this, let's understand what this image caption annotator is. Uh, simply put, if you want to go through the images and caption them, you can use this Streamlit application. And why have you built this is basically at superbeam.ai, we recently had to caption a lot of images in the order of 1400 or 1500 images. And uh, the easiest way was to build a simple tool that we could control. But obviously, the tool is built in such a way that all the updates are directly done on the pandas data frame, etc. that's created. So if you have a huge uh, file, etc., this method is not very applicable. But if your data is not huge and you have to annotate, annotate quickly uh, a bit of data, then you can use this uh, image caption annotator as well as make any changes to this and use for your use case. Awesome, how does it work? Simply, um, we want to add captions to memes. So for this meme, um, we plan to add two kinds of captions. One, the first one caption is actually the caption that captures the uh, meaning behind the meme, uh, meaning behind the meme. For example, in this case, uh, you can think that, um, let me add a caption for this as a sample. And you can see that remaining six of 10. So to, in total, there are 10 images and six of them are uncaptioned. Let me add one meme here. So caption could be a person hiding pain and still smiling. And meme name could be uh, hide the pain Harold. So in particular, people should be able to search for memes, both with the meme names, as well as the action or the meaning behind the meme, actual uh, meaning behind the meme, emotion, etc. So we are adding two things. One is the meme name. Actually, this meme is called Hide the Pain Harold. And I'm actually adding the uh, meaning behind the meme. So that's what I'm doing here. Now people can now we index this data and people can search with both the meme names as well as their hidden meaning or the action. Now see there are remaining six of 10 that are uncaptioned. Just click on save. And you can see that uh, it got down to five. So five are uncaptioned still. Now I can click on next and randomly another image shows up. When I click on next, I added randomness among the remaining five memes to be shown because a little bit of gamification could make the task easier for us to you know, add captions instead of sequentially going because when you're going sequentially, then you might have already tagged few of them, right? So uh, simply in this case, we are only showing from the remaining ones randomly so that people can annotate. Um, let's click on next again. I'm just walking through how the process works. So caption could be something like, a person strongly believes uh, in their in their idea and meme name is change my mind and then you click on save and again this uh, becomes four now all these captions you can come back at a later point of time as well whatever you have captioned will be updated in the pandas data frame that we store so this folder is shared with you and it is pretty simple in the sense that we have some memes in this folder. 
for example let's look at the memes so all we have is a few memes in this folder i for simplicity i just kept 10 memes here and our goal is to you know add captions for these memes as well as add titles captions will be the will capture the semantic meaning of the memes so simply starting from this memes folder how can we go ahead and caption all of these memes that's the end goal for us we'll see how we can use streamlit annotator and caption all of these memes let's get started with the collab notebook that we have here so basically what we are doing here is we are preparing a pandas data frame with uh, all the image names that we have in the folder that's what we are doing here so this part of uh, data preparation for annotation needs to be run only once because for the first time we are just creating a data frame so this is where i have the meme folder and uh, all i'm all i'm doing here is getting the image paths as well as the names here so simply in this folder memes folder we have about 10 images so i'm getting their names as well as currently the paths of it so this will be evident in just a bit so i'm creating a data frame with the array of both image name and image path simply put image path is actually the name of the meme that we stored the image and image name is actually just the dot png or the extension removed so simply i created a data frame from uh, the folder that we already have now all you need to do is create another uh, column called as meme caption that's what i've done here so simply I created another column meme caption and then I'm saving the data frame uh, under, a, under this name memes.csv. So this memes.csv is the final data frame that we are going to use and in the next section that is data, data annotation, we will be reading this data frame then identifying which all columns do not have any meme captions and showing them to the user so essentially we are we will give the user to edit the image name as well as add any caption for all of these 10 or so memes that we have here of course depending on your task you might have many images uh, to tag as well but just for simplicity i'm showing you a basic demo and uh, let's look at data annotation awesome let's move on to the next section that is the data annotation so here we are loading the same data frame that we saved pre previously so we have our image name image path and meme caption so what we are going to do is just look at this data frame and wherever there is nan automatically show that to be captioned to the user and as we are scrolling through will randomly show uh, one of these uh, NAN values and their corresponding things. So what we are going to do is we will give an option for the user to edit the meme caption as well as the original name. So the user can edit the meme caption as well as original name. And from the image path, we are going to fetch the image and show the image that is the meme image. Let's go to this file. So what this section does is basically once you run it, a file named app.py is stored that has all the code for the streamlit, uh, for, for streamlit what we have just seen in the initial, uh, at the start of this video. But at the end of the day, it's not too much code, uh, just few lines of code, but it provides quite a lot of functionality for us. Let's look through it very quickly. So here we are loading the pandas data frame and what we are leveraging on is actually streamlit session states. So in session states, we are randomly picking up a row that has NAN and when, then we are giving the user the option to change image name as well as the caption. 
and whenever they click on save automatically the csv file on the disk is updated with the image caption changed image caption and uh, image name and uh, what the power of this is that you can caption probably three or four images and you can come back at a later point of time still you will be able to see how many images need to be captioned and you can randomly go through them kind of like gamifying the captioning and you can randomly uh, update all the captions and their corresponding names uh, whenever you get free so you can keep coming back to this file at a later point of time and then finally finish off finish off all the captions so you can look through the code here but basically there's a save button that saves uh, the new caption and modified name to disk and every time you go on to the next page code runs from the start so you don't load the data newly and you'll find a new row that does not have caption yet and you'll show it to the user so once you go through this code it will be evident for you basically we are leveraging on streamlit session states to achieve this now once you save this file the next thing is basically we are running streamlit in google collab itself with local tunnel that's uh, pretty flexible you'll see it in a few seconds just run this and whatever url you get it here just click on that and if you get another link just click on continue you can see that we got to the final page where you can caption things so randomly it uh, saw that uh, index 3 is not captioned so third image so out of the 10 images none of the images are captioned let's just add a caption for example for this a person strongly believes in something um, okay that's the caption then just change my mind is the meme name we don't want any of this you can click on save and as soon as you click on save you will see that the remaining became 9 out of 10 click on next randomly we got to in zeroth index you can see that we randomly got onto the zeroth index perhaps if you don't want to caption at this point of time you can click on next um, and we got to another meme which is the drake's meme so let's name this drake s or no that's the actual meme name if someone looks it up caption could be a person dislikes something but likes another thing okay that could be the caption for this and you can click on save as soon as you click on save you can see that uh, remaining became 8 out of 10 so you can click on next so essentially you can go ahead and keep on adding captions and you can come back at a later point of time completely uh, tomorrow or later and you can always start with uncaptioned ones because every time you click on next only the eight that are not captioned are shown here so you can come back at a later point of time and keep adding captions now let's see we have added two captions are they actually stored in the uh, csv file on the google collab google drive let's go ahead and see that so if i come back to this folder you can see that automatically memes.csv is created and we i think we added two captions let's see if those captions are there awesome we can see that on the fifth row there is this change my mind and person slightly uh, strictly believing in something and rake yes or no let's open it with google sheets
Awesome. You can see that in Google Sheets, uh, two memes are captioned and uh, those are updated. Now, if you go back, you will see that there will be two files, but remember to delete the Google Sheets one uh, all the time because what happens is that uh, whatever captions you create, they are directly, directly updated to only CSV file. And unless you open Google Sheets or refresh or do other things, the memes.csv and Google Sheets file is not in sync. So you will not see the updated captions in here. So just remember that don't think that there is a bug in the code. Rather always cross check what you caption with the direct CSV file. I think the best, best way is to just read in code uh, the CSV file again and see what are all captioned. But simply we have seen how you can use Streamlit to create an captioning system so any nlp data data annotation tool you could create with streamlit uh, that could operate on a small set of data and you can annotate that uh, so this is how we have built a simple annotator for memes at uh, supermeme.ai and we search on both the original meme name that could be drake yes or no as well as the meaning behind the meme which contain which is contained in the caption that could be like a person dislikes something or likes other uh, thanks for watching and uh, i'll see you again please subscribe to the channel if you haven't